And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith once again, and NVIDIA has silently launched their new and latest GeForce MX series mobility graphics chips, which include the MX130 and the MX110. Now, both of these chips are still based on the Maxwell GPU architecture and positioned at entry level mobility products. Now, as we just stated, both chips use the Maxwell architecture and are based on a 28 nanometer process technology. The Maxwell architecture gave NVIDIA graphics chips a huge boost in the competition in terms of performance per watt, which still makes a lot of sense for mobility product designs. Both chips utilize the Maxwell GM108 GPU, which is the most entry level SKU for the entire Maxwell GPU stack. These chips come in at 25 watt variants, as we're about to specify. The NVIDIA GeForce MX130 includes the GM108 GPU family with a fully enabled core. This chip packs a total 384 CUDA cores clocked at 1122 MHz base with a 1242 MHz boost clock. The chip has also been equipped with 2 GB of either GDDR3 or GDDR5 memory, which will be featured across a 64-bit bus interface. Now, NVIDIA is claiming a 2.5x performance boost over the Intel integrated UHD 620 graphics chip that ships with Intel's 8th generation processor package. The MX110 includes the same GM108 GPU with a partially disabled core. The chip packs a total of 256 CUDA cores that are clocked at 965 MHz base with a 993 MHz boost. The chip has been equipped with 2 GB of DDR3 memory, which will be featured across a 64-bit interface. NVIDIA is claiming a 1.5x performance boost over the Intel UHD 620 graphics. Now that's really a 50% performance increase, but still definitely welcome. Both chips support the most basic GeForce functions such as NVIDIA Optimus, GPU Boost 2.0, and GeForce Experience. The chips are compliant with DirectX 12 and OpenGL 4.5 APIs while featuring a full NVIDIA GameWorks support. There's a big market for these chips if priced and positioned in the right way, and obviously NVIDIA knows that, hence the launch. The real challenge will be to see them going against AMD's Ryzen Mobility lineup, which is equipped with a Vega Graphics on board. Furthermore, Intel and AMD's co-venture in developing KB Lake G is going to be a serious contender and challenger in the industry when it arrives next year. NVIDIA is currently the top vendor for high-end graphics on the mainstream GPUs and the mobility sector. It will be interesting to see if NVIDIA maintains their mobility strength in the entry-level sector, which will soon be filled by strong entry-level AMD Vega Core that will be featured on both AMD and Intel-powered machines. Now, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you in the next video.